You know her as the host of Fox News, The Five and Outnumbered. Kimberly Guilfoyle has a new book titled Making the Case, How to Be mm -hmm. Your Own Best Advocate. We have it right here uh -huh. in it. She shares the obstacles she has faced to become the woman she is today. And now she wants to pay it forward by sharing her advice. And we will now all get to benefit from that. She exactly. joins us now live from New York. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here with us. Good morning. It's great to be on your program. Thank you for having me. Well, your book looks fantastic, and I can't wait to read it. Let's Thank talk you. about the title, Making the Thank Case. You. you say you learned from your father. I did. You know, after my mother passed away when I was a little girl, my dad saw this child with a big broken heart, and he wanted me to be able to stand on my own two feet, to not have that moment define me for the rest of my life, but to, for me to know that I would be able to have the self-esteem, the self-confidence, the wherewithal to be able to make a big, bright future for myself. So whenever I wanted anything, he would say, Kimberly, go to your room, put your best facts, arguments together, then come present them to me. Make your case. The worst thing that can happen is I tell you no. He goes, never be afraid of the no. Be more worried and afraid if you don't ask for something you're passionate about and that you believe in and you want to achieve. So that's how it's been ever since I was little. Wow, great <laughs> hey, advice, I too. I tried that with my yeah. own kids. Note to <laughs> self. Yeah. Now, your advice applies to all areas of life, personal as well as professional. And one that sticks out is how to navigate a midlife career change. That's difficult for a lot of folks. Yeah, it is. You know, and I've had a, a number of different jobs. I've, you know, worked obviously in television, but before that I've worked in everything from, you know, a delicatessen to a clothing store to modeling to working as a prosecutor, also as a teacher working with children with learning differences. And so I'm not afraid to make changes in my life and to start a new chapter. And that's what I encourage people to do. And I'm not saying just to like hop around, but if there's something that you feel that you're passionate about, then you should. You should get up in the morning and when you go to bed at night, feel good about what you're doing? Are you following your bliss? And if the answer to that is no, what can you do to make a positive change in your life? Is there something else that you're very passionate about? Because I believe if you're doing something that you really do enjoy, that there is a way to monetize it and make a career and a future out of it. So when I transitioned from working as a prosecutor into television, that was a whole new world that I didn't have experience in except for trying some high profile cases and I was answering questions about the cases. Then I transitioned into doing legal analysis. From that, then I transitioned into being a television news anchor, political commentator, based on experience that I had working in San Francisco in politics and when I was the former first lady of San Francisco. So you've got a lot of things inside mm -hmm. you and you have to figure out how to utilize them and best communicate it to other people to give you the chance, give you the shot. Well, I think it's great that you're talking to people yes. about how you did it so that they can try to pull off something else because a lot of people do make changes midlife. Something else, Kimberly, we talk a lot about here on Fox 26 Morning News is advocating for your health. You're all about that too. Mm. I really am. I think it's very important to make an investment in your health, you know, not only for yourself, but your family and friends around you that love you, that want you to be around. It's better to have a kind of a whole mind-body approach to say, am I doing things that are stimulating my body, um, me physically, mentally, you know, emotionally? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are raising you up, lifting you up versus people that are negative and taking you down? Are you getting some kind of, you know, exercise and doing the best about to fulfill your dreams, to make yourself look good, feel good, eating healthy. It really does impact your interpersonal relationships, your professional environment as well. I mean, I see it in, you know, my own life. And that's why when I wake up, I'm like ready to go. Now, Kimberly, you mentioned your father is a very big force in your life. A lot of folks don't have that. But how do we keep this advice going and teach our children and younger generations how to be their own advocates? You know, you can get a lot of inspiration from people in your life, whether it's coworkers, it's friends that you've invited to be a part of your life that you share with, or parents starting out with children with that at a very young age. And although my mother, you know, she passed away, she was 37 at the time, and I was just 11 when she uh, finally died from leukemia, she had a meaningful impact on my life with the time that she spent with me in, you know, the morning, getting ready for school, making my breakfast, participating in class activities. She led her life in a way that was the 
a living example to me and same with my father. So although they're both not with me today, the time frame was meaningful and powerful. And that's why I say to parents, take that extra time each day. You don't know you're going to get another one. So don't count on tomorrow. Make the most of today. And I really do, you know, believe that. And at the end of, um, you know, my father's life, the day that he died, he said to me, Kimberly, I've lived a great life. I've been very blessed. He said, I have no regrets, meaning own your life, own the ups, the downs, the failures, the successes, and see what you can do to, to give it back so you're not just making this life about you. And I think that's a healthy approach. Mm -hmm. great what a advice. great wow. legacy yes. you come from. And thank you for sharing that intimate moment. Again, everyone, making the case how to be your own best advocate is in stores now. You can also watch her on the 5 on Fox News Channel. Kimberly Guilfoyle, great to talk to you. Keep up the great work.